Hey guys, I'm Danielle and today I'm going to show you how to fork a GitHub repository. Okay, so first off, what is a fork and why do we use them? So a fork is basically just like your own personal space to work on a project, which kind of sounds like the same purpose as a branch. But the main difference between those two is that a fork is actually an entire copy of a whole repository, but a branch is just kind of like a space for you to add and edit work. So you're not actually making any copies with a branch. You're just like adding some separate space, but a fork is actually making a copy of everything that's separate and unaffected by the main branch. Um, so yeah, we fork repositories because it gives each of our contributors their own copy of their repository, which allows them to edit files freely. Um, and once you're done making your changes to your fork, you can merge the changes back to the main branch in the original repository by opening a pull request. Okay, so the first thing to do is to find your repository. And you can do that just by going to github.com slash bitproject and typing in through the search bar, or just scrolling down. Um, I think it's a really good idea to keep your main repository bookmarked in your browser because it's a website that you're going to be visiting a lot, especially if you plan on doing all your work online and not on GitHub desktop. Um, so I'm going to fork the meetings branch. I mean, the meetings repository. OK, so once you get there, you want to find the branch you created. If you haven't created a branch yet of the repository that you want to fork, go back and watch the video on creating a new branch because you have to do that before you fork your repository. Okay, so once you have that branch created, you're just gonna find it. Um, I made it right here, Danielle. And then once you're in your new branch, you just hit fork up here on the top right. I'm just gonna click my main repository. I mean, um, GitHub account. And that's it. And it'll say the branch is even with the master. And you'll see, instead of saying bit project slash meetings, it says dnslo one which is my GitHub username. And yeah, now my branch, is, my, um, <laughs> my repository has been forked and this is where you're going to add any files that you're going to work on and edit any files that you plan on working on for your project. Um, and then once you're done working on your project and you think it's complete, you would open a pull request. And once the pull request is approved, it'll be merged with the main branch in the original repository. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.